Yo, yo, what is up? This is Raphael with NBA Draft Junkies. And I want to introduce you to a new series I have for the season. Now, I don't have a creative name, but I want to highlight some of my favorite sleepers. And in this case, I'll be breaking down film on the best low post score in college basketball this season. Sorry, it is not one of your favorite prospects or a name that you may recognize or a name that you've seen on draft boards. But in my opinion, George Mason Jr. Josh Odoro is the best low post scorer in all of college basketball. Now me, I, I know I can be biased towards low post players. I was super high on Al Perrin Shingun at this time last year and even made a video on how I thought his scoring on the block reminded me of a young Al Jefferson. Now I totally, totally get and I totally understand that post play is somewhat obsolete in today's NBA with very few centers getting paint touches on the block, but I am holding out hope and praying that back to the basket low post scoring makes a return in the very near future. And unfortunately, George Mason's Josh Odoro was born in the wrong era because I think that he has the goods when it comes to getting buckets on the block. He's currently averaging 17 points per game and he's doing most of his damage in the paint where he's got moves on top of moves along with great touch around the rim. Through 12 games, he's shooting 70.9% on post-ups and scoring a ridiculous 1.3 points per possession. I personally just love how he's patient and he never seems to be in a rush. When he's defending one-on-one, -on -one, he's a tough cover simply because he has a bag full of tricks and crafty moves. He has a great combination of feel, instincts, balance, footwork, and touch. Like a lot of my favorite low post players, he dominates on the block below the rim. He's not this high flyer or this wide body physical presence like Nikola Jokic, Joel Embiid, even guys like Al Jefferson or Zach Randolph, or even Carmelo Anthony. He's not really overpowering guys or playing bully ball. It is all crafty moves and the ability to finish around the rim with both hands. I like how he's comfortable on both sides of the block and has some nice spin moves and even a little bit of dream shake in his arsenal. He's got a nice mid post game and enough handle to take slower bigs off the dribble and finish with touch. Now, this is not a name, Josh Oduro. It's not a name that you're going to see on many draft boards. But in my opinion, he is a sleeper prospect that I would definitely take a chance on as a two way player. But then again, I may be biased simply because I just love low post scores.